Hello, fight fans. Um, I'm here with boxing beast Ryan Chris Caban and Mauricio Herrera, who just fought uh, yesterday against uh, Danny Garcia. Uh, Mauricio, how you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, feel good. Just got back from Puerto Rico and uh, West, and I feel good. I feel good with the job I did. I thought I won the fight, and um, uh, the people showed me all the support, and it feel good. Yeah, man. I mean, boy, this is that was a very uh, controversial, controversial ending to the fight, and even the fight. And, and you know what? Over here in the UK, especially me myself personally, I, I, you know what? I called the fight a draw. But you know what? Like, if if you got the decision, I feel it was fair. And a lot of people, including my, some of my colleagues, they believe you won, and I believe you got robbed. How do you see that? Yeah, I believe it was a close fight, uh, but I thought I should have got the edge, you know, especially taking it to him to the last round. Um, I thought uh, I came to fight, you know, I came to fight, I thought uh, Garcia couldn't adjust to me, and I don't think he was doing any boxing, uh, I think he was just uh, seemed afraid, afraid of me, you know, he was a big puncher, uh, he, I had him backing up, you know, and I felt I did everything in the you know, time went round by round. Definitely. I mean, listen to this, boy. I mean, you've come out of this. Danny has actually gone down a lot of people's estimation as one of the best guys at 140. And now your stock has risen. And right now, it's all about Mauricio Herrera. What What have you got in mind and who have you got next? Would you like the rematch? Who would you want to fight next? Yeah, well, definitely like a rematch. You know, we're going to fight like this this close. Um, I think uh, Danny says at 140, he should give me a rematch. I mean, uh I don't know why he should be, why he went up to 140, you know, I think, I mean, 147, I think he should uh, give me a rematch at 140, you know, give me a chance, everybody a lot of people thought I won, a lot of people thought it was close or a draw, mm. uh, definitely want a rematch first things. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me, let me pass you on to my college, um, Boxing Beats and Rams, go ahead. Hi there, Mauricio. Yeah, how's it going? Yeah, I just want to say, it wasn't close, it, it wasn't close, you actually run away with the fight, to be honest with you. And um, I, I say that in the knowledge is that I thought he was going to run all over you. I, I really did believe that. And like, I was watching it with Chris. And by the third round, I'm saying, this guy's outboxing down easy. You know, did you, how, how did you prepare for such an effort? I thought it was a superb effort. Well, uh, we were preparing to box, you know, in the, in the, in the training camp. Uh, is there, I, I always said I love, love boxing, I love to just box and stay on my toes. And we expected him, he's a bigger puncher, was going to come forward and you know, do his thing. And we're expecting him to move my legs and box him. Uh, coming into the fight, uh, I see that he was easy to back up, that he wasn't, he wasn't trying to come forward and do anything and make, a, make it a fight. So I had to adjust and, and start putting smart pressure on him, which I felt I did. And uh, I didn't think Danny could adjust to me. I heard him in an interview say he was he adjusted and started pushing the fight. I didn't see that at all. I thought I pushed the whole fight and made things happen. Yeah, I agree with that. He didn't push no fight. You you won convincing. I had I don't know. I had you winning by a landslide personally. And Chris will vouch for that. Yeah, I, I actually scored it. Um, 116, 112 for Herrera. Oh, thank you. No, I, I, I mean, I just said I won, you know. I, I thought it was in Puerto Rico, you know. I've had that in my mind the whole time, you know, with the judging and with the people, you know, lining them up. Every, you know, there were a lot of shots that he thought I blocked that were uh, that were uh, giving people attention over there. But who knows if that affected the judges. But uh, either way, we felt good. We thought we won. Uh, I know he, he didn't get a good night's sleep that day. And uh, he'll remember me, and I think I'm gonna hunt him, and and he will have to give me a rematch. Mm, mm. Can I just ask quickly, guys? Yeah. Um, do you think it was a political decision? Do you think there was more hand to why you didn't get the decision? Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I didn't get the decision. Um, I don't know if it was the crowd pumping up the judges or maybe, um, uh, who knows? I, you know, I don't really know why I didn't get the decision. I mean, uh, I thought the, the commentators saw the fight, you know, they were in the, they were just as close as the judges were, you know, watching the fight. Uh, so I don't know what some of the judges were seeing, but I, I thought, I thought I pushed the whole fight. You know, I thought I won the fight. Yeah, I did everything I had to do, you know. The angler didn't want to stay in fight. Uh, I don't think he was doing any boxing. He was just more trying to stay away from me. <laughs> Mauricio, the pillow hands Herrera, the guy that doesn't hit hard, you know? <laughs> you definitely proved that proved that wrong for people. And also, like, that your performances now. You know what? In my opinion, I know you want to fight the rematch, but right now, I feel your stock has gone up. 
your next fight is everyone's gonna be seeing what you do in your next fight. If you if you didn't get that fight with Danny, which you should you know a good fight with Povotnikov, a rematch with him would be good, and some other guys should be looking because people are watching you now and to see what you're about now. You know, what do you think? Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, I I want to take the biggest and toughest fights. You know, the guys are, that nobody wants to fight. You know, the toughest challenges. You know, I feel I'm up there. I prove that I, that I'm up in that level, and I, if Povotnikov will, uh, will give me a rematch. Mm. Uh, I, I will fight him again. I'll fight Matisse. I'll fight Pavarnico. I don't want the you know the big tough guys. You know I want to make a great fight, fight to the fans. Mm. Let me ask another question. So your style is to be honest with you, it's not a traditional Mexican style. Your style is a, is a more slick. So I don't think they they study film, man. You 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 got beautiful boxing, beautiful box technique. Where did you get that from? Where did you learn that? You know I I, I love watching uh. Uh, old fights, you know, and I, uh, I'm a big fan of James Tony, you know, Rufredo Benitez, you know, I love Pernod Whitaker, I love uh, seeing a lot of technique guys, uh, Larry Holmes, you know, I watch him with a beautiful jab. Uh, I just mixed a lot of fights and I watch videos over and over and somehow just develop my own style and uh, I like to be, you know, the smart by smart fighter in there and I feel um, I'm doing a little bit of everything and it's turning out, you know, the way I, I wanted it to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh right, go ahead, Chris. You got a question for her? Yeah, I think he's like the top one four one of the top one forties. He beat Provonikov. He beat Danny. I don't care what nobody say, he beat Danny. I think people gonna start ducking this guy. I feel I really believe people gonna start ducking you now. Yeah. Um, I just wanna ask, so I'm just following up Chris's what Chris just said. Are you scared that these contenders of champions are gonna duck you at one forty now after that performance? Because you it was dominant. It was very dominant. Uh, I hope they don't. No, I'm, I'm here to fight um, whoever, and um, uh, I know it's up to the fight. You know, if they want to fight me or let the promoter know, uh, to duck me, if they duck me, uh, nothing I can do, but uh, I'm here to fight and, and give the people great fights, and that's all I want to do. So hopefully they give me a big fight in my next fight in if Dan doesn't want to rematch. And I uh, just want to give the people a show, you know, and show that uh, I live up to my name and my ass the teacher, and just show uh, uh, my great boxing skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, the UK, well, with this, you definitely open eyes over here in the UK, definitely. People are talking about you right now. Man, um, it may be a possible fight, you guys coming to the UK and fighting some black fight fighters over here. I mean, is that possible? Oh, for sure, yes. Uh, I mean, uh, we we'll said with Bowling Boys, see what they want to do. And uh, uh, one of the biggest fights, you know, and fight, I'll fight anywhere, you know. If I fought uh, Danny in Puerto Rico, I'll fight anybody. Uh, I'll fight in the UK, mm -hmm. wherever they want me to fight, uh, you know. And, and I'll even tell them, you know, wherever the people want to see me fight or who they want me to fight, uh, that's what I'll do. Wow, man. Yeah, easy. Go, yeah. Ahead. Go ahead, Beast. Don't you think that Danny's a little compromised though now? If he decides to fight at 140 and doesn't fight you, it looks really bad on him, in my opinion. Yeah, that's what I feel. I mean, uh, I don't think he's comfortable uh, with that fight. You know, uh, and going in, even his, his father didn't feel, uh, uh, you know, joy and, and happiness after the fight, even before the fight. You know, they always looked, uh, they always had a face of concern throughout the press. and. Uh, so I know I, I was a nightmare for them, so I don't think Danny's going to be able to sleep until he, he, you know, he, he gives me another shot. <laughs> don't worry if to sleep. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> he, he, you think of it, that was supposed to be his, his coming out party in Puerto Rico, man. And you know Mexican and Puerto Rico, man. He wasn't it. You know what they were expecting, like, Danny to be you and everyone's here and holiday like Chin, man. You, 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 hey, party poop at the whole damn thing, man. <laughs> yeah, they say Puerto Rico, yeah, Puerto Rico wants to give them back, they say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the rivalry, go in the, the rivalry, did you feel it yourself as a Mexican going to Puerto Rico? Did you feel like, say, as a Mexican, I need to, you know, I need to show them, yeah? No, you know what? I, at the end of the day, what I want to do is give, give people a great fight. You know, they were making it, you know, Mexican, Puerto Rican. Mm. But at the end of the day, I think people, in no matter who it is, you know, Mexican, Puerto Ricans, anything black, white, I just wanted to give a great show. I wasn't focused on that. I just was focused on wanting to beat Danny in front of anybody, in no matter Puerto Rico, around the whole world. I just wanted them to see that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So how did the Puerto Ricans receive you 
you know, virtually destroying their boy like that. Oh man, they, uh, they were loving us. I mean, I, I made a lot of fans before the fight. Uh, they treated me well over there, you know. They uh, a lot of them were rooting for me uh, after the fight. You know, I stuck around with a lot of the fans, and took pictures, uh, and uh, I did my thing. And I think they, they enjoyed me, my my fight, and um, I think I made a lot of fans out there. It's great, man. It's great, man. Wow. Well, you made a fan of me. You definitely made a fan of me. I'll yeah, tell you that. Definitely, man. We, 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 we can't wait to see you fight again. Champ, what, so um, any other questions before before we head out, Beach? Any questions, uh, Chris? Yeah, if he can't get Danny, I definitely would like to see him fight Lamont Peterson, the other 140. Oh, that's a good one. That'll be a good fight. Oh, that'll be good. How you see Yeah, How you see that one going? Oh, yeah. That, that, that'll be great, too. You know, I'll fight uh, Lamont Peterson. Like I said, I'll fight uh, anybody. Anybody, uh, whoever they want to see me fight, um, I'll fight. You know, if it's Peterson, whoever, Provagnico, Matisse, uh, just want to fight the, the best, you know, make a big fight and, and, and a great show. I want to give a great show. You know, I want to be... Remember the guy who gave great fights. Definitely. That's so, man. All right. so, man. so um, where can, where can um, the fans catch you? Uh, uh, catch you then? Because um, obviously, you know, some of the fans get you. T you Twitter, Facebook, uh, Twitter. You got to, what's your uh, your um? My Twitter is, uh, is at in, at in my one, mm -hmm. and uh, you got Facebook Mauricio Herrera. And, um, yeah, you can find me there. Okay. All right. Well, you know, we appreciate you talking. We we eagerly watching to see what your next step is. Uh, you, hey man, you got the whole boxing world talking. Marisha Herrera, thanks very much for this interview. Yeah, the and Uncrowned 140 champ, Mauricio Herrera, do yourself up. Yeah, definitely. And the UK is watching Marisha Herrera. Thanks for this phone call, Maria. We'll talk to you soon. All right, thank you for the support. Thank you for the interview. Anytime. No problem. Okay, take care, champ. Bye.